Hello everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Kozlix and today we're going to be going over the match or matches that made Sandstorm retire from Brawlhalla. So if you don't know Sandstorm retired from Brawl, he's probably going to come back. Just honestly, he's going to come back probably this summer. I'm calling it right now. But uh, just before his announcement, he did a money match against Luna on Dark Ghoul's stream. I don't know if you guys know this. Vodhalla has all the, the VODs if you look up Sandstorm vs Luna money match. But basically they did like a $100 money match and they did like a double or nothing. And then it went to $800 and then it went to $400. There are literally... Oh my god, there's five money matches. The last one was $800. So it was... Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. We don't have time to go over all of them. I think let's go over the last one because it was $800. Um, but yeah, they kind of went back and forth. I believe Luna won most of them. But um, yeah, let's, well, let's go over the last one in particular. And we're going to be going over a lot of the issues with uh, both their gameplay and like reasons. Like, let's kind of discover why Sandstorm feels like how he feels with Brahalo. This is a good representation. It was one of the last things that kind of drew the line for him, in my opinion. So let's go over that. If you enjoy this type of stuff, hit that like, subscribe, comment down below. Check out Coslux.com. Let's get right into this. Let's, let's watch this from the beginning. And then let's kind of like break down what happens as well. The screen is kind of flooded. I think my face is kind of covering Dark Ghoul. No idea. Should be okay. A lot of off stage there. So just up. I think a common theme just before we like really see a lot is we're gonna see a lot of neutral resets and Luna just getting better punishes. It's pretty easy to get out of combos, so that's kind of what we saw a little bit there. Especially scythe combos right now. Dodge reads are cool, but some of these new players really have good dodges. Like that dodge in was great. When uh, Sansom tried to read the B light. I saw retake, side light. Yeah, just can't punish it. Tries to go for reaction, but just can't. And then if Sandstorm doesn't hit his combos, like Luna's got more true combos easier kill confirms and sometimes easier neutral that was a nice side light nice side air good stock by sandstorm skip a little bit okay and yeah it's just that's crazy that you just have a light attack that kills like that without even like hitting combos but that end light wasn't like that that was Yeah, and like, he's not getting any follow-up sandstorm. He'll hit like one scythe attack and then nothing. Can't get anything there. He switched up his dodge. Dodge diagonally downwards to the right, then dodges up there. He's ch changing it up every single time, constant. Like, co co consciously. That's the word. D lights there, and then, yeah, that side is almost unreactable sometimes. Especially if you, you don't expect people to go for those siders like that. Just some crazy damage build up on Axe. And you can really just react. Shad Light Nair. And it looks like San he can't get any follow ups. He'll hit one thing and then Luna dodges away. Like the, the amount of time Sandstorm has won neutral over Luna, in my opinion, is a lot, right? But Luna would win neutral and then consistently get some attacks on Axe. Like Sandstorm wasn't avoiding them properly. But when Sandstorm wins neutral, he would hit like one side air or something like that, or like side light on Scythe. And Luna's dodging in completely different ways every time. It's definitely interesting. Dodged up there. Usually it was going in on the first stock. Let's keep watching. Dodged up again. Okay, so maybe, but that's the end of the game. <coughs> end light. Sandstorm dashed in. Because another thing you gotta keep in mind is this end light. He delayed his dodge a little bit right he fell to the ground and then see the dodge he probably or the dash i mean he, he probably meant to dodge but because he's on the ground it locked him and that end sig is just yeah crazy 
And then what happened that stage? So he dodged horizontal, then Luna down aired, went for the weapon toss and the ground pound. Yeah, Tansom just had no options. Crazy. Little follow up there. Still didn't get anything. Which way did Luna dodge? I'm actually curious. Dodged up again. Okay, that's interesting. Let's see. Up. Uh, up again. Okay, so now Luna's dodging up. Let's see if Sandstorm can get a bit of a read. Dodged up again. Okay, so Luna's got... Let's see. That was in. Sandstorm's doing a bit better here. He, again, he's winning neutral consistently. He won neutral like four or five times there. It's just the bang for the buck he's getting. That's like what I like to call it. D-Light there was good. Nice little end light. He has his could not kill. You'll hit side light like you'll win neutral, but on hammer you kill. And if you can win neutral even like 30% of the time compared to a quicker weapon, like hammer and axe, you just build up so much damage, it doesn't matter. Take a look at like every single time Luna wins neutral, gets a combo, gets two, three hits. Sandstorm will get like one hit, maybe two max. It's, yeah, that, that that seems to be the story. And because Axe is so much mobility, it's like equivalent to winning neutral. So he's going 50-50 with Sandstorm and neutral. But uh, even though, yeah, it's just crazy. He, he gets better reward. Okay, let's see this last stock. So like Sandstorm wins neutral, doesn't get a single follow-up. And Luna resets. Luna wins neutral, gets a side sig. That, that seems like it's the story. The, how big the hitboxes are on hammer on axe and how good they are at winning neutral right now especially axe it's ridiculous so axe is good at winning neutral building up damage hammer the kill the stats on terrorists are very lopsided towards attack and stuff like that even though axe has a bunch of mobility like it's a little unfortunate <laughs> i'm on the caspian playing a light character in this kind of meta is extremely difficult the amount of work you put in compared to your opponent might not like you just like okay honestly like Luna's a great player but the pure skill like sandstorm is winning neutral way more like it's it's not in my opinion way more like one end light there and then it resets but um uh, I don't know I'm, I'm pretty biased as well I also recognize I'm biased Chat was going crazy. Why are there so many ones? Nice little side air. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. If somebody wants to do the honors of counting the amount of neutral exchanges and like who wins neutral more, be interesting. Because Luna's very good at avoiding Sandstorm's follow ups. It's very hard in the moment, especially if you're like your heart going and stuff like that, to like avoid every single follow up like that. Like, look at this. Sandstorm's gonna win neutral. Okay, it doesn't there. Nice end light. End light, nothing. And then Luna immediately gets out with wake ups. Wins neutral, nothing. Immediately gets hit for it. Wins neutral again. Let's see. And yeah, it just dies for it. One guitar in there does not equal the one hammer down there. That is for sure. Turn air does like 10 damage. Oh, he's with, Sandstorm is whipping hard now. This is the first time I think I've ever seen Sandstorm actually lose, in my opinion. Like, I've seen him lose in tournaments and stuff like that, but these guys played like four sets in a row. I think that's kind of ridiculous. Let's also look at the uh, the first money match. Just a couple of games of that. Sandstorm, I, I've talked to him. He thinks Artemis is the best Lance. Or not best Lance. He thinks Artemis is the best Scythe. Which I, I agree, Artemis does have the best scythe. Uh, Artemis's lance is really interesting. The side sig is phenomenal, but the end sig is meh compared to other end sigs, not, not good. And um, the D sig is interesting. It's a good D sig, but it's just nothing crazy. It's not super like the D sig and like the side sig cover similar space. So I'd rather like a more dynamic range. Sandstorm's lance is putting in the work. Nice down light. Not, not a bad trap in there. Nice weapon throw. Interesting seeing his lance. 
I side light. That was really good. And light. He got follow up there. Maybe Sandstorm got more um, scared and uh, played worse towards the end. Because right now he's playing really well. He's almost overwhelming him. I feel like you, you almost need like a crazy level of confidence to do well in Brawl. And as that like goes away, it becomes harder and harder. Nice D light, nice down sag. Damn, I'm destroying him this game. Just keep watching. This matchup is bad. He's starting to realize now. Nice D light, that narrow. Yeah, you just can't really follow up D light like that. It's not consistent. Especially Nair doesn't have grounded consistently. Only in the front of it. Nice neutral air. Tries to go for it again. That's disadvantage state as well to like neutral air like that against Axe. That's crazy. Good try on the recovery. Nice side sig. That doesn't hit anymore. Not well. Okay. Good stuff. Oh, we're gonna reset. Okay, let's watch this. This one might be way more on Luna's side. I think you'll see Sandstorm struggle with Lance a bit, and then that's why he uh, reset. Sandstorm's Lance isn't bad. It's not optimal, though. He goes for some weird options. Yeah, that double Sarah is risky. That downer is really good. Good reaction. What are you doing? See? Luna didn't dodge a single thing there. He's still has his dodge if he didn't dodge those three hits see i think that was the big difference is luna warmed up towards this matchup like it took him three hits to dodge there that's i don't know why he just didn't dodge and then yeah you're gonna get if you can get out of sandstorm's combos and like take him in neutral you can win but the fact is he's getting hit by a lot of these this is a 15 minute set so it did go back and forth a little bit that weapon throw down, which is a cool mix up. Yeah, you, uh, that's that's absurd. Right. Combo. GC saw there was a good try. Nice side tag. How did he reset so quickly? Yeah, the amount of aerial options you get in Brawl is, in my opinion, kind of ridiculous. I, I think that's something that could definitely be uh, tweaked. The amount of like evading you can do by jumping is ridiculous. Nice. No dodge. That was clean. As Luna played like more grounded and safer and smarter, um, uh, Luna's started getting better. Especially in his last couple games. Sandstorm really looked like he was scared. Yeah, that end light. Just keep the studs like. And yeah, you you literally can't go Lance into Axe. Like it's such a losing matchup, one of the worst matchups in Brawl. Like I'm not like I, in an unbiased way. Like I think even Boomy would agree. It, it's one of the worst, if not the worst, matchups in Brawl. Just because Axe outranges Lance completely, and Lance puts a lot of pressure using like dash jump, Sarah, and whatnot. Axe side light. Its combo starter catches it, so it's kind of ridiculous that a combo starter catches. Um, almost every punish on Lance because it's so horizontal. Just makes it really easy to uh, counter. And see how like rounded and smart Luna's playing and then dodges out of that perfectly then gets the side air weapon toss. It's just being able to play smart and playing what's in the meta right now. The fact that he can do all these options is also just a byproduct of the current meta. I'm not, not saying Luna wouldn't be a pro or wouldn't be really good and like without Taros or whatever. I, I still think Luna is a great player. It's just Axe being this good just kind of amplifies everything. Also being able to get out of combos consistently by touching the ground and resetting your dodge cooldown is important too. String heavy weapons will get a massive buff when uh, the dodge cooldown change happens. Eventually, hopefully. It's an experimental. Yeah, like that dodge down, he gets his dodge back almost instantly. Same thing happens to me on Lance. I'll like catch a dodge 
and then they'll land and then I'll side light Sarah and then by the time I side light they dodge again and they get out of it. It's ridiculous. It's like super tilting whenever it happens. Yeah, Luna dodged down there. Luna really switches up. Like we, we were talking about how Luna was dodging up before now dodging down here earlier in the set. Just ridiculous. Let's keep watching. Okay, we got the Lance versus Axe matchup. Let's see it. This is not going to go well. I'm going to have like D-Sig. Nice D-Light on that. I would like Side-Sig here. Put some pressure. Okay. Nice side there. And yeah, already back on the Scythe. Sandstorm is like... His Lance isn't awful, but it's just weird. It's not optimal. He doesn't play it that well. He has some weird options that can be good, though. Yeah, and at this point, like, he can't kill Luna, but Luna has a million kill options. So, uh, just the fact that Luna is able to, like, win neutral, even, like, a third of the time. Yeah, and then takes a lead. It's crazy. Let's watch the end of this game. And then you're also, like, it's hard to kill on Scythe and Luna. It's like, dude, Artemis is actually hard to kill with. When the player is competent and knows how to escape things. It's really hard to catch good players and options. Good side lights there. D-Light doesn't get the follow-up. Doesn't even get the recovery. Gets that. Good weapon starving too. I don't know why you're going in on now. That was dumb. Yeah, still. Can't hit side light and light. Dodges up and then touches the ground immediately. Dodges down towards the ground, up, touches the ground immediately. It's all about getting that dodge reset. So uh, he can't combo. If they dodge up and away, it makes it extremely difficult to reset. That's something I should probably adapt into my gameplay. It's really good. It's also unfortunate. It's giving more advantage to disadvantage state. And yeah, that's, that's the game, double hammer recovery. <laughs> it's funny but guys if you enjoyed this hit that like subscribe comment down below let me know what you think uh about this matchup in particular uh tons of credit to luna like it, it takes a, a god to beat a god but um it's definitely interesting that like the way that people win isn't necessarily in the best efforts of making the game look good in terms of marketing like no offense but i wouldn't want taros to be and rayman be the two characters at the top two of a tournament no different than i wouldn't want lance in the top two of a tournament if lance was winning every tournament that would make the game look bad although i really want to win another tournament i uh, can acknowledge that lance should not represent Brahalla and will never and if it does we'll get nerfed <laughs> honestly but um, guys, if you enjoyed this, again, hit that like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. See you tomorrow.